Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hello, I am still Rick Alvarez, and welcome to a completely normal Cut the Tape. That's actually a lie. This is kind of a different Cut the Tape. Now, this Cut the Tape is 20 years in the making. So, we're cutting the tape on something that's already been opened but not taken out of the package. So, since that's the case, I kind of feel, you know what, it needs to come out of the package. So, I'll be the first person to remove the figures from the package, but the tape has been cut before. So, 20 years in the making. Well, it's uh, Casey, my camera girl. What year is it? 2020. Why'd you have to think so hard about that? It's 2020. So, what came out 20 years ago? Transformers Robots in Disguise, or Car Robots, or AKA Transformers 2000, whichever moniker you prefer. But this is the magnet, the sword from the Japanese release of Fortress Maximus. And it got reissued in an exclusive set. A set I happen to have right here. Now this set, is the Japanese Toys R Us exclusive R.I.D. Optimus Prime Ultra Magnus 2-pack in clear. It's uh, like clear plastic with like glittery glitter sprinkled throughout it. So, I've actually had this uh, for about 24 hours now. I've always wanted it. It just came across in my feed one day. Thank you, Mike. Uh, I bought it off him, and it's going to be my first time actually handling the clear set. That doesn't really look like um, Optimus Prime, though. It doesn't look like Optimus Prime, you're right. But to me, it does. So it's Optimus Prime, it's Ultra Magnus. It's 60 meters long. And uh, I don't think that's quite accurate. It's not 60 meters long. That would be like um, longer than the driveway. I mean centimeters. Okay. Yes. Because now they teach kids in school inches, uh, uh, meters instead of inches, which is like, I have to learn all that stuff, which is why I drink. So the sword has been assembled. Here's the sword. That was exclusive to the set. You couldn't get the sword if you bought the figures individually. You could only buy it with the set. So it has been already open. I've wanted the set for a long time. And you know what? I got such a great price on it. I couldn't pass it up. This was my belated birthday gift to myself from April. There you go, perfect, right there. So, here we are. It's not styrofoam, by this time they had already moved away from styrofoam. It is plastic liners. So, here's Optimus Prime. Instructions. Here is Ultra Magnus. Now, It does, it, there is a lot of plastic here. So, we're gonna flip these over and see if it is in fact true what Furious Mike told me about these not, not having been removed from the package. And, uh, it appears Ultra Magnus has not been removed. The tape has been cut on Optimus, and I assume that was to get the sword. But there's no way of me knowing for sure if this has been removed or not. 
However, from the way it looks, I'm gonna say it hasn't. I'm gonna say the sword was what they were after. So, something that is quite common of these figures is some yellowing. When the plastic degrades over time, or sometimes it's exposed to light, sometimes if you leave it in a dark place, it just happens. The type of plastic that is used uh, just yellows over time. So, I wanna get a good piece here. Here's a good piece. See that? See that, how transparent that is? It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, there were no twist ties to hold this down. And that was common of the time. Here's the test. Let's see if the batteries still work. They don't. They don't. Something about him yelling super fire convoy is just, it's just awesome. He looks tiny. Well, this is Optimus in his regular mode. And then, so this is the first time Casey's ever seen this particular version. And it's been some time since I've transformed this beautiful toy. This is one of the best toy lines to come out of Transformers uh, ever. Um, there's really nothing quite like it. The three car robot brothers are so unique. It was my understanding that the designer did these and then left to pursue other interests. Now there's also a rumor, and I can't verify this, although I think from my conversation from Takara, they, they strongly hinted at it, that some of the figures for Transformers 2000 were in fact designed initially for the Micronauts line, uh, such as the uh, build team. Do you want to say something, Casey? No. No. All right. Still looks really good after all these years. Daddy? Yeah. Can I just put it here for a second? No, Casey, we're filming right now. That was the deal we made. Casey uh, was not behaving very well today. So, she has to hold the camera and not be on camera. This is her way of making it up to me. And if she does a good job, then maybe, uh, maybe we'll have something nice in the next couple days. All right, so. Here we go, we're gonna assemble our Optimus. This is definitely a parts former. Parts former refers to uh, a transformer figure that needs parts put onto it in order to transform. It doesn't have the ability to transform into its various modes by itself. It's very similar to G1. If you lost the fist to Starscream, you just didn't have hands anymore. If you lost Optimus's fist, you just didn't have them anymore. Missiles are still sealed. We'll open those up in a little bit, but here it is. Here is the clear Optimus Prime. All right. Feeling it, Casey? You're doing a good job. Hang in there. Oh, look at, look at this sword. Man. All right, we'll play with the sword. Now, here is a better example of the yellowing. I was told about this before I bought it. It's quite common in these figures. In this particular figure, just as a GPS is in G2. Now, GPS, you might have heard that term. You don't know what GPS is. GPS, gold plastic syndrome. When a certain figure is made out of gold plastic, it tends to be very fragile, such as a slingshot or electro from generation two. 
Now I have a few other clear figures. Uh, and they all seem to be yellowing in quite the same fashion. Some more than others, but I think here you can see, while it is clear, it does have a yellow tint to it. It kind of looks like dried Vaseline. That might be a better analogy. It's a terrible analogy, actually, but. So you see the back here. I'm sure this thing, when it was brand new, would have been absolutely stunning. Talk about parts forming. Casey, what do you think? This is Ultra Magnus. This is Convoy. He was still called Convoy at the time and not Optimus Prime. He didn't switch to becoming Optimus Prime until the films. Now when you hook up Ultra Magnus to Convoy, it switches the dialogue in Japanese, but I just wanna take a quick look at the head. Because the head is in fact clear. And now the debate, do I keep them individually or do I combine them together? Uh, that's a good question. I think for now, that is such a good question though, man. I think they're gonna have to get combined together, but that's a video for another day. All right, Casey, anything you wanna say? All right, well, you've been an excellent camera woman. Thank you very much. Thanks everyone for watching. Email us at cutthetape at tftalk.net. Feel free to pick up one of my books on Amazon. Wash your hands. Remember, register to vote. Good night, everybody. Hi. Oh, can we fist bump? Can we kiss? Let's make a kiss. Let's make a kiss. Let's make a kiss. Let's make a kiss. Look, it's every every Transformers girl's fantasy. And that's okay.